Mike from Northwest Man Time, and in this video blog I want to talk about training, specifically training to climb Mount Hood. And that journey begins right here. Whether it's an old elliptical, a bicycle, or even walking, you got to start out slow. And when I say start slow, I mean slow. When I started training for this climbing season, I was 25 pounds overweight, and I got on this elliptical, and I... I went for about 15 minutes and I was winded. And the next day when I got on, I went for another 15 minutes. And the next day I think I pushed it up slightly to 20. And I think you get the idea. Each week, I tried going for a little bit longer until I could go for an hour. And then I started upping the resistance. Look, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a personal trainer. My degrees are in philosophy and business. But you gotta use common sense on this one. If you do too much too quick, you're going to overload your muscles, strain them, possibly injure them, and that's going to put you out of commission for a long time. The key is to start slow and gradually work yourself up. So start slow and move up by degrees. So if you're going to start 15 minutes, whatever exercise you're doing, you're doing it 15 minutes this week, try 20 the next week. If you uh, have you know, on resistance one this week, try doing resistance two the next week. Basically, work up gradually. Don't make big jumps. Your muscles aren't going to like that. You have to look at it as a long-term plan. This isn't something you're going to do in two weeks. And for the most part, we all do really good for the first couple days, don't we? Or the first couple weeks. We get up, we do our exercises, and then that one day comes along and it breaks and we all fall apart and we never work out again. I've had the same problems, and there's probably lots of solutions, but I'm going to show you the one that worked for me, Darth Vader. And this is the trick I use on my mind to get myself ready for the day's workout. I sleep in my workout clothes. And I got my shoes right here ready to go. Working out's like any other part of the morning routine. You get up, you put your gear on, you brush your teeth. And you go do what you have to do. Okay, and here we are, my real morning workout. So how do we just get out there and do it? Well, today's actually a good example because I don't really feel like working out. My knee's been bothering me lately. And uh, so instead of doing my normal 60 minute aerobic workout or performance endurance program, I'm just gonna kind of take it easy. The whole point is, is that I'm still going to take that time I set aside every day and get out here and do it. And uh, so what are some of the tricks to doing that? Well, um, iPod Nano, of course. Got my music. I do want to do my aerobics, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, got my wife's Kindle. Watch Netflix on it. Family Guy reruns, whatever, SNL reruns, something just to keep me sitting here when I don't want to be here. Uh, today, I'm going to be using Pandora on a lower mode, or sorry, on, I'm still just waking up, but on, on some sl uh, slower song, song station. Um, something that doesn't get me too excited because I don't want to hurt my knee but I still want to get a workout. Obviously if you are really injured um, and you can't work out and you feel sharp pains you're going to want to stop but I can tell it's just a, a little sore so I'm just going to work out real smooth, real slow, at a low endurance but I'm still going to do it for 60 minutes Still got my waters here, still going to take my supplements. The point is just to keep that spot, that habit going. 
And, um, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how ancient wisdom and modern science show that you can actually create a habit by repetition. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.